My name is Aska Javed and I'm a recent graduate of Amherst College in Computer Science and Statistics and I will be discussing predicting flight delays using Shiny and H2O machine learning. About 20.2 million minutes of airline related delays occurred in 2015. So this study aims to better understand departure delay by analyzing delays from 2008 to 2016 using exploratory analysis with Shiny and Deep and Machine Learning Platform H2O in R. So two of the main analytic questions that I studied include what factors contribute to departure delay for United States from 2008 to 2016 and what role weather plays in predicting the delay for flights departing New York City in 2013 using the NYC thir Flights 13 package. Some of the big data infrastructure tools that I used include H2O, which is a big data machine learning and predictive analytics platform, capable of performing supervised and unsupervised learning, as well as platforms like Hadoop, Apache Spark, Sparkling Water, and R Sparkling. The data for this project was used from the United States Department of Transportation, Borough of Transportation Statistics from 2008 to 2016, which was set up in a YARN client cluster in the Hadoop server, and additional data was web scraped. The analysis was performed with a random sample of 200,000 observations for Shiny application, simple logistic regression, and deep learning model, and with about 48,000 observations for simple logistic regression with weather. A Shiny application was built for initial exploratory analysis and it's accessible as at this link. So as the application shows, uh, the first feature, which is a table summary, basically shows the average departure delay for the specified origin and destination airport and the specified origin and destination state in a table format. The next panel shows uh, the visualization of the paths uh, between New York and California and the average departure delay for those flights. And these uh, panels are interactive as well. Next, delay by state, division, and region from 2008 to 2016 was performed. So overall, there has been an increase in departure delay from 2008 to 2016. Delay was also viewed by region. So for example, this is the average departure delay for Northeast, as well as by hour, week, weekend status, month, season, and carrier. So this is the departure delay over time, over, over the days for New York, as well as for the Northeast region. And next, aggregate delay by region was performed. So for example, this is the average departure delay by airport for 2008 and east, north, central region. And again, this, these maps are also interactive. Some overarching conclusions from the Shiny application include uh, that overall there has been an increase in departure delays from 2008 to 2016. There are higher delays in early morning hours, especially in southern US, higher delays in northeast and other US regions with highest delays on weekends, and high departure delays in summer for Northeast and in spring in Southern US. Next, I built a simple logistic regression model to predict departure delay occurrence over 30 minutes on 200,000 observations against airtime distance, carrier status, hour, day of week, and season. As the variable importance plot shows, carrier status was important in predicting delay over 30 minutes, season fall and distance were negative predictors of delay, while season summer and airtime were positive predictors of delay over 30 minutes. Next, I built a simple logistic regression model uh, to study the effect of flights, to study the effect of the same predictors as used in the simple logistic regression model, as well as weather on departure delay for all flights departing New York City in 2013 from the NYC Flights 13 package. So weather predictors assessed included dew point, humidity, precipitation, pressure, etc. As the variable importance plot shows here, airtime and early morning hours were negative predictors, while distance and evening hours were positive predictors of departure delay over 30 minutes. Weather was not very important in predicting delay. Lastly, I built a deep learning neural network model via H2O to study influence of variables like airtime, distance, carrier status, hour, day of week, and season on predicting delay over 90 minutes. Grid search and random grid search variations of the original deep learning model were also built for hyperparameter selection. As the variable importance plot shows here, early morning hours along with carriers, Hawaiian Airlines, Northwest, and US Airlines were most important predictors of delay over 90 minutes. In conclusion, early morning hours, evening, as well as the specified carriers were most important predictors of delay over 90 minutes. Uh, and overall, this project aims to study departure delay from 2008 to 2016 using logistic regression and deep learning model using the deep and machine learning platform H2O. This project also Explore data visualization application platforms like Shiny, Big Data Infrastructure like Hadoop, Apache Spark, and algorithms like neural networks. Uh, the full write-up and application code are accessible at this link. Thank you.